Greetings, Divine Radiance, and welcome to your nightcap for your soul with me, Nikila Asha of Ashworth Scott Life Sculpting. I am a divine interpreter, interpreting messages and methods from the divine that empower you to create and live an abundant life. So this evening's nightcap is Fifth Chakra, Archangel Gabriel. And the message here is self-expression and speaking your truth. Gabriel holds his trumpet in one hand and a beautiful orb of blue light in the other. He is sending powerful energy to your throat center, acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do so. This angel opens you up to truthful expression, both with yourself and others. You may have had trouble with it expressing emotions and ideas in the past, but Gabriel is here to tell you that your soul longs to take this leap now. Be aware that true communication includes how you speak to yourself, so never deny your profound, integral value. Speak up for yourself. Write in your journal. Let your words flow. Now is the time to express yourself freely and fully, and the universe always honors your choice to do so. This card could also indicate that a communication project is coming, or a time of heightened communication with spirit and telepathy with others. So the affirmation for this card is, I am so grateful my throat chakra is open to its perfect, healthy state spinning with the beautiful energy of freedom and self-empowerment. I am free to express myself in every way. And so it is. So, you know, we've been talking a lot about writing a book, right? There's been so many people, especially in our Rim Soul family, so many people where Spirit has been saying it's time to write a book, right? Myself included. I've gotten that message too. And so what Spirit is saying is for some of you, the writing of the book, could be the case. For others of you, you could be um, receiving a message that it's time for you to start with motivational speaking. But whatever the case may be, what Spirit is saying is now it's time to get your story out, right? It's time for you to no longer be silent. Now that you're working on releasing and healing, some of you have done the work and Spirit is saying the time is now to now share your story from beginning up into where you are now. And others of you, Spirit is saying while you're doing the work. It's important for you to be sharing your story. Even if you're starting with journaling, get it out, you know, express yourself because it's so therapeutic when you can do that. And when you can express yourself and share your story without making those that served you, right? those that served you by way of playing the villain in the story, when you can share without making them the villain, but explaining what you experienced, right? But still coming from that place of highest light, love and compassion, that's when you're ready to begin teaching those you're called to serve how to heal themselves. Because if you're still holding on to anger or hate, right? For someone that just played their part that they were called to play in your life. Because when we understand, and we've had this talk before, when we understand that everything that happens in our lives serves our highest good and that we agree to live this life before we got here. There are some people in our story that are there to play a form of a hero, and there are some that are there to play the form of a villain. But whatever role they agree to play in your journey, it deserves gratitude. So if you can express yourself from your perspective and your point of view and express what you've learned and how you've overcome it, but still have compassion for those people that played that role, because remember, to play that role for you, they're dealing with their own pains, they're dealing with their own hurts, they're dealing with sicknesses, right? So who are we to judge? Who are we to judge or villainize them, right? So Spirit is saying, share your truth. And if your truth shows them in the light of a villain, that is the truth. But what Spirit is saying is when you can release the feeling that they're the villain, that's the difference. Because let's be real, it doesn't really matter what role a person agreed to play. If they behave like a villain, that's what they behave like. But what are you feeling towards them? That's the key. 
That's where the shift lies. That's where the healing lies. Not to say you're going to go and paint this rosy picture of them and not be truthful. That's not what this message is. It's about how are you viewing them now, right? Doesn't excuse them. Doesn't mean it's right or okay. It's not about them. It's about you. It's about you, your salvation, right? Salvation from suffering. Salvation from repeating cycles, right? And when I say repeating cycles, I mean you being in this traumatic state and continuously attracting more situations and people that continue to traumatize you or where you're doing it to yourself. That's the worst. Because outside of others, until we heal it and let it go and we can fully show up in compassion and understanding and love and light, we just continue to victimize ourselves. And you're nobody's victim. You are strong, perfect, whole, and complete. And the things you went through, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. Let it go now. It's time. You're ready. You're ready to find the purpose in your pain. Okay. So that was this evening's nightcap. Let me know how it resonated or if it helped in any way by leaving a comment and a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. And be sure to share the videos, share the nightcaps, you know, let your community enjoy them too. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and be sure to turn the notifications on so you don't miss all the delicious yumminess that gets posted to the channel. Okay. I thank you so much for allowing me to serve you. Sweet dreams.